What's going on everybody? Afflicted Gamer here. Welcome back to another Division 2 video. So as many of you know, the Division 2 is packed full of cool secrets and surprises, ciphers and riddles to discover and decipher and all that all that cool stuff, right? So on the off chance that you haven't seen this one, there is one that is at the Roosevelt Island Stronghold. Now you do have to do this when it is on its weekly invaded rotation. So please keep that in mind. Now, huge shout out to my friend in the video, Realistic Sky. She's the one that brought this to my attention. And I am also obviously not the original founder of this. So on the off chance that you haven't seen this, I thought that I would bring this to everyone's attention. She said that she actually found all of this information on Reddit. So everybody that's on the Division 2 forums for Reddit, the Discord, all that stuff. Huge shout out to all of you guys for putting all of this cool stuff together and figuring this out. So the Roosevelt Island Stronghold is filled with these owls. And if you light the candles in a specific sequence, it actually unlocks a secret passage where we're standing right now. And you get some really cool dialogue at the end. I'm going to let you guys listen to that, uh, the real audio. And you know that you've done all of the owls correctly because the final one will make a noise as well. The key thing to note here is that if two people try to activate a candle at the same time and it turns red, then you have made a mistake. So that's why I'm showing you this first part twice. So only one person touch the candles. If any of them turn red at any point, then you've made a mistake and you need to start again from the beginning. So. Owl number one and candle number one are right before you drop down in the tunnel, which is right here. So all of these spots, I do show you exactly where I am in the stronghold. <clears throat> if you've run through it a few times, or you're kind of familiar with it, you'll know where I'm talking about. So owl number two is right after you have defeated the boss. So instead of fast traveling out, simply start to walk out and then to your left in the green area here in a little bit of a kind of a mini pond I guess you could say is owl number two. I found that it was easier just to simply leave the mission and come back in. It's a bit of a pain to run in and out of the mission and somebody might figure out a way to simply back travel but because a few of them you do have to drop down into the actual tunnel there it I just found this to be easier. Owl number three is in the garden section, so just follow that little path that I was on there and it's tucked in this little back corner and there he is by the tree. So I really like that they put things like this into the game and I know a lot of people watch videos like this and they ask the question, what is the point of all this? The Division 2 has done something totally different from the Division 1 and they are setting up stories for the future episodes that we will be getting with the season pass. So. All of this and the reasons for it will be revealed to us at a later date. Alright, Owl number 4, you actually do drop down into the tunnel and as soon as you exit it, immediately turn to your right where the ammo box is and tucked away behind this tree is the owl and the candle. So from there on, we're going to keep going to Owl number 5. The second you actually enter the stronghold and you're on this wooden little bridge, keep going until you see the owl on your left hand side, which is again kind of tucked in the grass and the water. And there is owl number five and candle number five. So when it comes to the very last one, which I will get to in a moment here, it's right after you pass all of the blue tents and all that good stuff. And that's when I'm going to let you guys hear the original audio. Owl number six, you've just blown up the three different crates with thermite. So, and before you get to the next checkpoint, again, there's an ammo box and this wooden log. Vault over the log, you see this poor dead guy and his dog. And you see owl number six and candle number six. Now, this next part, it's after you go through, like I said, all the blue tents and that stuff. And I'm going to let you guys listen to the rest of the original audio, the sound that the owl makes, and all that cool stuff. So, But anyways, guys, drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of all this cool stuff down in the comments section. Consider subscribing to the channel if you're new for more Division 2 content. And here you guys go. Here's the original that audio. should be it. And then this one is back here. Got it? I heard right. it. 
Oh. There you go. Yeah. Okay. So one last quick little thing is you guys heard the owl a second ago. That means you've done everything correctly. Come back to where owl number one is, and now there will be a hole in the ground that you can drop into, which will lead you to a secret little passage. And I will let you guys listen to all of the rest of, again, the original audio. It is a little bit quiet. My apologies for not having subtitles on, so you may want to turn the volume up or play it back. But it is, if you really pay attention to what they say, it is pretty cool. So here you guys go. Enjoy. All right. Stand. I got stand in front of the altar and salute and everybody be quiet. Society. We'll seal the site until another who knows the rituals 